Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video for possibly one of the most exciting videos always, which is going to be the new catalog walkthrough. So spring summer for, um, at least for Sensi, is right around the corner starting on March 1st. This catalog will be available. So what does that mean for February? Basically, that means that February is a transition month and everything that's discontinuing is going to be on a last chance basis. So that means that if there is, for example, a warmer you really want that's discontinuing, better go get your hands on it as soon as possible just to make sure that you actually do get your hands on it. There are also are a ton of things that are completely going away. So let's start there um, because I think this is really important. So this isn't on the screen, so sorry about that, but listen carefully. So as of March 1st, these items will be removed from the catalog and instead they'll be potentially available in um, limited time offers throughout the year. Okay, so car bar clips. I love car bar clips. It's a great way to scent your car. So just FYI there. Um, scent soft. I'm not super bummed about that, but I know that some people swear by the scent soft. So just keep that in mind. Um, dish soap, another big bummer. Um, I, I like the dish soap. I use that and a combination of like that and just like some a little bit more heavy duty like Dawn dish soap. But still, I think this is really interesting that they're deciding to get rid of it. I'm not sure exactly what is all behind it. I know right now is just everything is super expensive to make. Um, so Maybe that has something to do with it. Um, fragrance Mist, okay? the In general, the body care line is just getting demolished. Fragrance Mist, Scentsy Soak, and Sugar Scrub are all going away. So if you love our Scentsy Soak, which I love our Scentsy Soak, um, go pick up a few bags of that. I have a ton of bags, so I don't know how many or any um, I'll be picking up of those. But um, Sugar Scrub, same thing goes there. Those I know, the Scentsy Soak and the Sugar Scrub, I know will be available in limited time offers. Like, especially if you think about like the fall, winter, holiday and harvest collection, I know they'll be available then. Um, I feel pretty confident in that, but still <laughs> bummer there. Um, and then the pet lines. So Best Bud Suds Pet Shampoo, gone. Freshen Up Pup Dog Deodorizing Spray, gone. And No Not Spot dog detangling spray. So I, yeah, um, I think it probably has to do with just the cost of those items and maybe they're just not selling as much as they want to. Um, so it also does say as a note, which take this, you know, however you will, it says, please rest assured these products aren't necessarily gone forever. We plan to bring certain products back as limited time offers to help attract new customers. So like I said, definitely like the sugar scrub, Scentsy Soak, maybe even Fragrance Mist. I could even see them doing dish soap as part of like limited time offers, but a lot of those other things, I don't see them doing, I, I don't see them doing a limited time offer on car bar clips. So anyway, um, back to what I was saying about this being a transition month, what that means is that everything that is, um, going away, actually everything that's going away, I had to put my do not disturb on so I don't get any messages, um, is going to be 10% off. So fall, winter, it's almost all, fall, winter 2022 catalog products are 10% off from February 1st through February 28th. So keep in mind, it's a short month as well. Okay, so enough blabbing. I will, I posted this already on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, head over there to see the full and complete discontinued list. I'll also make a like community post on my YouTube showing all of the things that are going away. Um, some like notable warmers, Mirrored Rosé is going away. The Marrakesh warmer is going away, which is one of my all-time favorites. It was my first ever, well, yeah, that one and the Bless This Home warmer were my first ever catalog, um, not catalog, what was I trying to say? It's early in the morning for me. Um, my first party rewards I ever cashed out. So I don't know, I just love that warmer. Um, and then, like I said, those things that are going away in like full, so car bars, dish soap, those are all kind of like a, whoa, red flag kind of items. So anyways, 
enough blabbing about that. Sorry, I hope that's helpful information though for you guys in shopping this month. Definitely head over to my website or your consultant's website and just take a take a browse of what is going away. There's a last chance section. Um, go in there and, and, and purchase from there so that you just, yeah, make sure that you're getting um, the things that are going to be disappearing very soon. Um, so anyway, let's talk about spring, summer, 2023. First of all, how cute is this cover photo? Um, I love it. Definitely bright, beautiful vibes. Um, this definitely screams to me that it's going to be like a very, uh, you know how in the past years they had the, the spring, summer catalog starting in February. This is like, they're jumping full into like bright spring summer like super bright and vibrant when it was last year was a little bit more like they were trying to ease into it because some people especially in February they're not at all ready for spring summer but by March you're like yes I'm ready for spring so we can see already on here at least one warmer the flamingo warmer right there cool okay let's jump right in so um, show some buddies here and like a little table of contents over on the right. Um, we are Scentsy, lots of cute pictures. And then the charitable cause warmer is Simple Reminders. So this one is, says dream big, choose joy. Oh, cute. Okay. So it's a bunch of just like different, um, simple reminders, I guess. Show gratitude, try new things. Cute. I like that. Um, I like that they are showing it with the colored bulbs because these like white on white warmers really do pop when they have the colored bulbs in them. Okay, cool. So as usual, these are like a little bit more expensive, these warmers, and they donate $10 from the sale of each warmer. Um, they go into like a foundation and then they choose where they want to donate it to. Okay. Cool. So Whiff Box, you guys know I love the Whiff Box. It also talks, talks about Scentsy Club and all the good things with Scentsy Club. I recommend both of those, obviously. Okay, cool. So Flower Garden over here on the left is a new warmer. Laser etched flowers glow against a frosted interior finish. So this one almost reminds me of, what was that one? Or is that one that's available right now? Um, I'm going to just open it on my other screen. I have my computer out here as well, but I want to tell you what warmer it's sort of like. Um, do, 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 do. It's a newer one that like recently came out and only had a 15 watt bulb, but I can't recall the name of it off the top of my head. Do, 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 do. Pop. I should put like some elevator music in here. Um, it is the unbelievable warmer. Kind of reminds me of that. Like the inside is like almost like this like foiled kind of color. So it gives like this really nice glow. So that's six and a half inches tall, 25 watts, $55. Cool. Um, okay, and then there's some more warmers over here on the right. None of those are new though. Um, also talked about cotton cleanups. I love the cotton cleanups. I know they're a little bit spendy at $10, but for me, it's worth it, especially if I use like um, party rewards to pick those up or even put them as my half price credit in my club. Then at least I get them for a little bit cheaper, but they're so nice and easy to use to clean up wax. The, the convenience is worth it for me personally. All right, over here on the left. Oh, look, <laughs> the unbelievable warmer is right there on the right, the middle right. So of course, uh, I didn't need to go searching the um the other my other screen to find it okay so toward the sun on the left I love that by the way I don't know if I mentioned this this is the first time I'm looking at this catalog I showed some restraint and didn't look at it before now before this video so this is I'm reacting to these real time with you guys right now so yay um toward the sun I love it super super cute it's a like it's like a metal warmer and the metal instead of being white which is what it normally would be is yellow super super cute um none of these other ones are new on here except for daydream over here on the left which i believe this one was 
either in Australia or um, the UK, I can't remember which, but I'm pretty sure this was a new one for them this last year, like this last catalog season. Um, but that one I know that people really, really, really liked. So super pretty. It's like a nice like pinky glass with all these florals on it. Definitely perfect for spring, summer. All right, so Fancy Feathers Mini Warmer. If you're a fan of peacocks, um, definitely pick that one up. That one is really cool. Again, if you had like sort of maybe even like a teal, green, blue theme, like in your bathroom or your bedroom, the Flaunt Your Feathers Warmer and the Fancy Feathers Warmer would be perfect in there, like together as like a whole a little vibe. Love it. Um, the ones on the right are not new yet. I never ended up picking up the Ocean Ombre Warmer, which I think it's on my list to do. It didn't really scream like fall winter to me, which is when it was a new warmer. So I never picked it up, but it's definitely a spring summer warmer. Um, Pink Flamingo. So in the middle there, super cool. I love it. I, to me, it's, it's very, um, specific decor. <laughs> like I don't have it. I don't really decorate for summer that much, if at all. But if you were one of those people that like did like a beachy theme in your house, um, or even like a, yeah, like a pool party vibe, sort of, that would be perfect for that. So that's a element warmer, seven and a half inches tall. So pretty large, um, $60 for that one. Very cute. I love it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sliding around. Um, okay. The Savannah Warmer on the left is new. So very similar to the Zebra Safari, which was new this last catalog. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. So that is really pretty. I love it. I love an animal print. You guys know, or maybe you guys don't know, but I love animal print, animal print, everything. Um, personally, the Tiger Jasper one that's over there on the right, that's a little bit more my style. Um, I don't know why, and honestly, this is me being very nitpicky, but like the ones on the left, the Zebra Safari and the Savannah, it bothers me that the design doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Um, I don't know why, and maybe that's just me, but if it's not just me and you guys agree, let me know. So on the left, the Savannah one says it has a rose gold metallic finish. So that's really the key difference there probably. And then obviously it's like a leopard or cheetah print instead of zebra, of course. Okay, perfect. Um, lots of pretty stuff in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we have a bubbled iridescent mini warmer. And Miss Luna, you guys can't see obviously, but she's coming over here to sit on my lap. That's all right, because I'm not <laughs> holding anything. Um, bubbled iridescent, so this is a mini warmer, so it matches the full size warmer, obviously. Um, 15 watt glass. I, I will, I do plan on making a video relatively soon because I don't know if I've ever done like a super in-depth one about the differences in performance of different warmers. So like I mentioned in my scent of the month video very briefly, there's a big difference in performance in glass versus ceramic versus element versus, I mean, they're all, they all perform a little bit differently. So I do want to make a video on that. So this is a glass warmer, mini warmer. So Keep that in mind, especially glass mini warmers just don't, they don't hold the heat as well. Um, so they don't usually perform quite as well, but it is beautiful, especially if you like that kind of stuff. Um, very, very pretty. Um, Golden Sunset over there on the right, that was another one sort of like the Ocean Ombre that I was like, I don't think that really goes with fall winter, but it's definitely a good spring summer warmer. So I might pick that one up. Um, Blue Twirl in the bottom middle. Um, I got that warmer for my mom for Christmas and she set it up the other day and sent me a picture. It's beautiful. It, it shines the most stunning light on the wall. Um, really, really love that. So I don't know if I'll pick it up because I have a lot of warmers and I have ones that are already on my list, um, but it is super, super pretty if you were at all considering that one. Ooh, okay. So Simply Diamond over here on the left this to me looks very much like, um, sort of similar to like the, um, so two things similar ish to the diamond milk glass warmer, which is over there on the left, kind of the same vibe, very short, very petite, but this one obviously has a glass dish instead of ceramic. 
It also reminds me a lot of some candle warmers, warmers that I have seen and found like at like, um, I think they sell them at like Michael's. You can also get them online, but they're super big with like the vendor wax community. So I'm really curious about this one. I actually might have to pick that one up. I love that like simple, small vibe for like your desk, for example. Very, very good for that kind of thing. Um, super cute. And it's only 30 bucks. That's, that's a really, really, really good deal and super affordable. Like it says there, a beautiful and affordable gift. Absolutely. Um, okay. Lots of good stuff on here, but none of it is new. These are all just things that we've had before. Um, okay. So on the left there, there's a new one. My sun and moon. You are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. I have seen this one before. I think it maybe was in the UK's catalog before. Um, but yeah, cute. I like it. I do really enjoy that one. That's pretty. I just don't know if I would pick it up for myself. But if you had like, you know, a, a, like a, that'd be super cute in like a daughter's bedroom, for example, um, or as like a gift for, you know, a close friend or sister or somebody. Really cute. Love it. Okay. I know I'm saying really cute. Love it to like everything because I love everything. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, coastal light. That is really cool. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, this is so fun for me to do a first reaction on camera with you guys. So this one is six inches tall, 40 watts. So it's an Edison bulb and $60. This is a very similar vibes to like the shining light warmer. Um, except it's going to be just slightly different, slightly more coastal beachy vibes. Obviously that's why it's called coastal light. I love it. Super cute. That's one that's going on my list as well for ones to pick up. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. The most exciting part, maybe, possibly, is let's talk about the new release scents. So I did go ahead and pick up this morning the um, new Scentsy, like the new season scent kit which has all of these bars in it all 10 of them but let's so I don't have them to smell right now but let's just talk about the notes and what maybe I think I'm going to like so first of all banana leaf and bamboo that was in a whiff box um so this is juicy sweet white peach and banana leaf envelop aged bamboo and sheer mahogany so I I didn't love it by any means but it's not bad um, and I think it's good for the spring summer. It's definitely just kind of like green. I'm, I'm not sure how I, how much, if at all, I agree with the white peach. It's not super fruity. It's pretty, it's pretty green, but oh, well, that's okay. Awesome. Banana leaf and bamboo. Next is Lake My Day, which is refreshing lake waves lap peacefully over crisp bergamot and fresh oak moss. That sounds great. Um, really, really curious about that one. Curious to see if that gives me that kind of like almost rock smell that I get sometimes with those aquatic oceany fragrances. Um, mango matcha is a mix of mango nectar and matcha sorbet topped with a slice of salted cucumber and a dash of pure sugar cane. I am super interested in this one. Um, matcha is like green tea. I am so curious to see how these meld together, the mango and the green tea matcha vibe. Um, yeah, sounds amazing. I'm really excited about that one. Uh, Mountain Sunset, this is uh, take in the view over wild bluebell and warm woods as coconut and golden amber fill the air. Interesting, curious to see how the warm woods goes with everything, especially for like a spring summer fragrance. It might be a little bit... Um, deeper that is in the fresh category though so we'll see about that one um peace lily be with you white peace lily and green apple harmonize with watery greens and a touch of vanilla sounds interesting sounds pretty floral so we shall see um raspberry hibiscus tea a warm cup of wild raspberry and hibiscus petals sweetened with a spoon of elderberry sugar really curious about this one we'll see if it if it's super super tart um, because there is the sweetened with the sugar piece, but there's also like raspberry, which is usually pretty tart. And I'm not sure how the hibiscus is going to work into there, but I love like a fruity tea, um, especially in like the summer over ice. Love it. 
Um, soak in rays. This one says, feel the sunshine as bright mandarin and orange flower bask in ocean air. Interesting. Sounds kind of um, basic. I won't lie. It is in the floral category, it looks like. So we shall see. You guys know I am very hit or miss for um, floral fragrances. Sugar Blossom. This is a bakery one. Woohoo. Sugar dipped golden blossoms adorned a shimmery fusion of sugared citrus and vanilla. So maybe like a cakey vibe. I'm not sure how to feel about that. So golden blossoms, are they talking about like those like blossoms that you can like deep, you like batter them and deep fry them and then like eat them. You can fill them with like cream cheese and stuff. I've watched too many cooking shows. I've never made that of course, but <laughs> I've seen that in cooking shows. I wonder if that's what they're talking about. Um, tropic ne nectar. This one is tropical fruit nectar. It gets even with sweeter, gets even sweeter with coconut milk and golden agave. Sounds great. Sounds very generic though. I'm going to, well, based on just the description, obviously once I smell it, I'll have probably more of a idea of if it's quote unquote basic or not. Um, Woodland Meadow. Woodland wildflowers flourish beneath a beautiful forest canopy and an air of bergamot and amber. Interesting as well. Like this one and Mountain Sunset, I'm really curious about how those go with like a spring summer catalog. So we will see on that. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, so here's all of the like fruity I do not have like a list next to me of like what is discontinued and what's coming back. Um, so I'll just kind of be doing it off of the top of my head. So like Apple Teeny Splash, that was a new one last year. It made it made its way back in the catalog. Um, Berry Bright, that one, I was not sure it was going to come back. Ooh, Blue Agave and Melon, that's a, that's an older one. That wasn't even last year's summer collection. I think it was the one before, right? Correct me if I'm wrong there, but I'm excited to see that. And I even think, now that I think about it, Appealing Apple wasn't in our catalog last year, was it? Cool. Exciting. Um, Mahalo Coconut made its way back. I'm excited about that. Pink Rhubarb Sugar is back. Um, Rainbow Red, that's from the Red, or the Rainbow Collection. Excited about that one. Rainbow Sherbert is here. Go Go Mango is here. Um, Ruby Nectarine is here. That was a scent of the month as well. Um, Star Apple and Freesia. Interesting. That was from that one collection that had like the sunshine and tan lines in it. Um, and Vitamin Unwind also came back. Or, and that was in a limited time offer collection as well. Interesting. Um, Citrus. So thank goodness, squeeze the day came back. Excited about that. Um, sparkling yellow, that was, I'm pretty sure that was the one that was in the rainbow collection. So, well, I don't know if it was called sparkling yellow. I think it was just called yellow, but that's definitely the notes of it. So that's exciting. Um, cocoa lime came back. I'm not really surprised about that one. Um, pineapple mango came back. Plink pink lemon water was a scent of the month. That's in the catalog. Tangerine creamsicle is back. Sunkissed citrus is back. So all of the, the ones that like went away, um, like squeeze the day, sunkissed citrus that everyone was like, no, please, I hope they come back. They, it seems like they came back. I'm sure there's some that I'm missing that didn't, but those two did at least. Um, okay. Floral aloha citrus. Here comes the sunflowers. Kikui and Coconut, that was from this last year. Um, okay, Lilacs and Violets, Luna, yeah, classic ones. Um, down to Fresh, Amazon Rain came back, or is still here. That one didn't go away, so that's good. Um, Cocoa for Coconuts is back. Daydream Oasis is back. Um, wow, interesting, okay. Jammy Time is still here or back. I think that one was one that went away. So it came back, thank goodness. I know people would have been up in arms. And Whipped Vanilla Lavender is in the catalog. So that's also exciting. Um, cool, okay. Woods, we have Blue Sage and Tonka. So that must be sticking around. Bonfire Beach is back, yay. 
Coastal Sunset is back. Ooh, Sandalwood Tangerine, which is from the Father's Day collection that last year. Um, that's in the catalog, so that's exciting. Uh, bakery, we have Baked Apple Pie, Blueberry Cheesecake, Clementine Cupcake, Lemon Drizzle Cake. That was from the Easter collection. Excited to see that in here. Mocha Doodle, that one usually is here in the spring, summer for some reason. I'm not sure why they don't have that in the fall, winter catalog, but that one came back. So, cool. Okay, Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. Okay, that means Harry Potter is going to be in the catalog. This is super exciting. So, the Hedwig, Scentsy Buddy over there on the left. Hogwarts Scentsy Warmer. I love that warmer. It is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter bar. I do like that scent. Um, it's not my favorite out of all of the Harry Potter bars. I definitely prefer Ravenclaw. That's my favorite. But that one is pretty good. It's a nice, deep, musky, um, sort of like masculine scent. Oh, there's the notes right there. Sparkling citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, vanilla, and amber. Um, Golden Snitch Sensi Buddy Clip. That's cool. I'm excited to see that. That's fun. That'd be really cool for like um, a backpack, like to hang off a backpack. Lots of Disney goodies. So some full size buddies over there. We also have some wall fan diffusers, which I take my Disney wall fan diffusers to Disney when I go um, to freshen up the room, especially because we're normally there for quite a few days. So it's really nice to have just some extra fragrance while you're there without having to bring a warmer. Um, and then over on the left, they have the, in my opinion, sort of weird warmers where you take their head off to put the wax in. I don't know why. I just think those are a little bit weird. Um, and then the same Mickey scent. So, oh boy, totally Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse and Friends. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, cool. So the Little Mermaid Sensi Warmer is in the catalog along with Ariel Under the Sea. That's exciting. I know that that warmer was really popular and it sold out pretty quickly if I remember correctly. So that is really exciting to see. Um, lots of just more um, princess stuff, fan diffusers, Disney Princess True Level Weights Bar, um, 100 Acre Wood Bar, diffuser and pod pack oh my gosh okay oh my gosh so cute milani the mermaid and aloha citrus love it um and then summer the sea turtle and aloha citrus so those are buddy clips those are too too cute i love those oh my gosh um prickly prickly the cactus and prickly pear and agave and queen the pineapple in pina colada cha cha so those are two buddy clips i think that those are both available now so i don't even think they're like new necessarily vega the unicorn buddy clip as well okay cool so there is a black wall fan diffuser i like black decor um so that's really exciting for me um i don't know if i'll pick it up i don't to be completely honest with you guys, the wall fan diffusers don't perform all that well for me. They just don't throw the scent like wax warmers do. I mean, simply put. Um, so I, I don't use those quite as much, but I do really like that. Very cool. And it does have the light on the bottom. Um, the air purifier obviously is going to still be here. So that's exciting. Definitely use half price credits on those instead of purchasing it full price. Otherwise, it's going to cost a pretty penny. Um, Sensi Go. Very cool. Did they get rid of the Sensi Go? Yeah. Okay. So Sensi Go. And then over here on the right, Sensi Pods. So new in pods, Apple Teeny Splash. Daydream Oasis. That's weird to me. I didn't really like that scent. It was very, very, very... Um, sort of like too perfumey floral for me um interesting the other one that's new is pineapple mango and then white amber and teak but some notable ones to point out is um kukui and coconut that was not necessarily new in pods because that was in pods in the summer collection same with lem lemon drizzle cake that was in pods in the easter collection but it's new to the catalog in pods um, same with sandalwood tangerine and whipped vanilla lavender. I'm so excited about whipped vanilla lavender. I love that scent. And I'm not usually a big fruity, I mean, floral fan. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. So over here on the left, it's the Wonder Premium Diffuser, or you can just buy the shade, I believe, if you want. It's this really pretty woven rope. I love that. That is super cool. That is going to be right up a lot of people's alleys, I think. Um, that is awesome and perfect for spring, summer. So here's all the other shades that they have for the um, premium diffusers. And then really quickly, I'll go back up here for the deluxe diffuser. These ones don't have interchangeable shades, but it is just... Um, a little bit of a larger that's actually quite a bit of a larger reservoir so if you want something that's like low maintenance i would call that that's the one i would get but obviously the premium diffusers are really stunning um and more of like works of art than the um, deluxe diffuser okay so watermelon red berries came back in the oils new coconut and sea salt raw coconut vanilla bean and sea salt that sounds yummy um, Bella flower and beechwood, white bergamot, jasmine flower and sandalwood, dandelion and turmeric, white tea. Interesting. White tea, dandelion, turmeric and orange. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So see, this is like a much, much, much smaller body care group. So there's body cream, body wash, hand soap and hand cream. They really cut it back. Um, Just Breathe is new in the body care line. I do have some Just Breathe soap that I got in a whiff box and I have been loving it. It is super, super, um, very strong. It, it lasts on your hands for quite a while after you wash your hands, just as an FYI. Um, so Coconut Daiquiri, Jammy Time, Luna, Make a Splash, Mystery Man, and Vanilla Waves are all sticking around. I don't know why they would have gotten rid of Coconut Daiquiri. Oh no, they do have Coconut Daiquiri. Sorry guys, it's almost 8 a.m., but I'm like still waking up a little bit. Okay, so laundry, laundry liquid, washer whiffs, dryer discs, and then the bigger washer whiffs too. Um, so this is Fiji Flower over here. So Fiji Flower is the new one for laundry. They did get rid of Amazon Rain in the laundry. You guys know I love Amazon Rain, but for me, it's not a super fragrant laundry scent. They also got rid of um, Scentsy Clean in the laundry, which I do actually like. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer. The Amazon Rain I could live without because it is just a little bit, um, I don't know, it's not super strong, but I probably will pick up at least one, maybe two of the Scentsy Freshes because I do really like that scent in Scentsy Fresh. So Fiji Flower is new, but it's not coming out in... Sunsy Fresh, just as an FYI there. Um, bathroom and all the other cleaners. So they're, again, narrowed it down a little bit. It's bathroom cleaner, counter cleaner, and all purpose. There's no more dish soap. So the new one in this is Daydream Oasis. Okay, you guys will have to tell me, how do you feel about Daydream Oasis? Do you guys like it? Like, am I just the odd one out that doesn't really enjoy it? I'm, I'm so confused because I would not have imagined that would be the one that they picked out of last year's catalog to, like, come back in everything. I just need to hear your guys' thoughts, too. <laughs> um, okay, the travel twists are still there. The jury's still out on travel twists for me. Um, I don't know exactly how I feel about them yet, but they are coming out in Blue Grotto and Go Go Mango. I love Go Go Mango, so that sounds amazing. Um, they're still having two fragrance flowers, so Buttercup Belle and Dahlia Darling. New scents, Apple Teeny Splash. That sounds awesome. Cocoa for Cocoa Nuts. Shocking Daydream Oasis, um, Pineapple Mango, those are all the new ones. And then Whipped Vanilla Lavender is a good one to point out here because it's not necessarily new in Fragrance Flower, but new to the catalog. Um, okay, yeah, so Car Bars, Room Sprays, Scent Circles, Scent Packs, no more Car Bar Clips, unfortunately. Um, talking about some parties and throwing parties and getting all these good credits and half prices. And then at the very end here is where it shows like the entire grid of everything. So it shows new fragrances, returning fragrances, um, and what like they're new in. So like Shoreline Drive, for example, that one's coming in a fragrance flower. Oh, did I miss that up here? I must have missed Shoreline Drive. Oh, it's not even listed up there. Interesting. But yeah, if you look here, Shoreline Drive, the last row, how it has a star. 
Oh, sorry. That's because it's coming in Scentsy Pods, not a fragrance flower. <laughs> sorry, guys. But that is new in that product. So this is a good kind of like one-stop shop for you to look at what exactly is coming and what's new, what's returning, those kinds of things. So yeah, some key things to note here is that we have Ariel coming into the catalog as like a full-time collection and same with Harry Potter. It's not all of the Harry Potter. It's not like each of the individual bars like Gryffindor and Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and Slytherin, but it is the, the main scent and then that, that um, buddy and warmer. So that's exciting. I'm excited about that. Um, here's all the bundle and save information. And then at the very, very end is where it shows all of the warmers. So there's definitely some ones that I'm interested in. I think that this is a great, a great catalog. I do want to note too, I don't have the list of everything, but this is jumping out to me. So the Scentsy Whiff Box is going up to $35. And there's quite a few things throughout the catalog that are increasing slightly in price. So just be aware of that if you're going to pick something up for the first time in a while and you're like, oh, that's different price than I thought it was going to be. Um, they are increasing the prices. I'm sure no one is naive to all of the price increases that are going on right now, but um, still just something to keep in mind. And an even better reason to have parties and get some half price credits and free items um, or yeah, full credits, free items, whatever you want to call it, um, this spring, summer, so you can get your hands on some goodies. So yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest, the warmer, so there's only a few warmers, new warmers that I'm really like super, super excited about. But overall, I think this is a really solid spring, summer collection. I'm excited to smell the bars. I've only smelled, yeah, smelled, smelt, <laughs> whatever you want to say. I only, um, yeah, had the banana leaf and bamboo flower or whatever the heck it's called. Bamboo leaf and banana, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The green one that came in a whiff box. That's the only one I've had. All of the other ones will be new. So as soon as those get here, I will do a first sniffs as well as in that video um, or around that same time, I'll do a whiff box unboxing when that gets here. Um, and I did pick up a few other random things to close out my party that I will share once those get here as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're thinking about this catalog down below in the comments. What maybe if you have like one bar and one, I guess let's do this. What the thing you're most excited about period. So maybe you're really, really excited that Daydream Oasis is coming out and like everything. Let me know that. Or, or maybe you're really excited that the yellow bar from the rainbow collection is coming out, whatever it is, put those down below in the comments, the thing you're most excited about. And also tell me the warmer and the bar, the new warmer and new bar that you are looking at potentially picking up. I love hearing your guys' thoughts on like, especially new catalog things, because sometimes you'll say things to me. And also, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Sometimes you'll say things and I'll be like, wow, I didn't even really think about it like that, but that's actually a really good point. And also I love seeing your guys' videos of you unboxing like new warmers because half the time that's what sells me on them. It's not, it's not me like seeing them in the catalog. It's seeing them in the dragonfly away warmer is a perfect example of that. Um, I didn't even think about getting that until I saw multiple videos of it. And I was like, whoa, I need that. So I'm sure the same thing will happen this catalog season. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, everybody.